Hello everyone and welcome to this demo tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to pass a variable from one thread group to another in JMeter. So let's begin. As a performance test engineer, you will come across with so many scenarios where you need to extract a value from one request and you need to pass that value to the other request. And if you want to achieve this, you simply need to extract a value and then you need to pass to the other request. And now it will be easier if all the requests are within the same thread group. So here you see that we have a first request, we are extracting a value, then we are passing that into the other request. Now let me show you these requests. So let me go to the browser over here. So I'm using these two requests. The first request this will basically give me the list of all the users and the second request will give me a specific user. So what I'm trying to achieve here is that I will hit this particular API it will return me all the users okay and from here i will extract this particular id and pass it into the other request where i need to fetch a specific user so in jmeter the first request will give me all users then i am extracting the id okay and saving it in a user id variable and in this particular specific user api i am passing this variable so this is really simple if i go here and run this one so you will see that the first api gives me the complete data and the second is giving me a specific data now this is being done dynamically and if i go to this debug sampler you see that user id is giving me a value 7 over here now what is a problem problem here is that for example if i copy this request and move this here in this other thread group and now if i try to run this one let me disable this one from here and now if i run this one what happens is that you see that this particular request is getting filled right so this is a problem now in order to deal this problem what you need to do is that there are multiple ways to tackle this one the easiest one is to use the jmeter properties so for, for that, what I will do is that I will go here, right click on this one, go to the post processor and JSR223 post processor. And here, what I will do is that I will write some code. So, props dot put, and here I need a variable which will be used as a shared variable across the thread groups over here. So, I will use the same name over here okay and this is my shared variable and then var dot get and here i need to provide my local variable local means that the variable which is within this particular thread group so for both uh, i will be using the same variable name over here you can change it so wars dot get basically fetches the variable from the current current thread group so my current thread group is this one right and props dot port basically saves the variable as a jmeter property okay now once i have done this one what i need to do is that i need to go here and i need to call the property okay so it will be double underscore p and this variable needs to be inside the small brackets that's all okay now if i run this one you see that this will pass now because now this will get a value and this is a request and this is the response over here right so this is a tricky scenario you cannot directly extract the value and pass into the other request if you need to pass the value to the other thread group so what you need to do is that you need to write this particular line of code okay and you need basically what we are doing is here is that we are using the gmeter properties was.get is basically fetching the variable from the current thread group this is my current thread group and Props dot put is basically save the variable as a JMeter property. Okay, so here this is my 
you know, a shared variable, and this is my local variable. And in order to call this one, what we need to do is that we need to go here and we need to call this one using double underscore capital P. And in small brackets, we need to provide this ID over here. If you don't do this, it you will not be able to call this variable into the other thread group. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.